नमस्कार वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून डियर लर्नर्स आई डॉक्टर रेनु तुम वेलकम यू टू सी ई सी लाइव लेक्चर्स एज यू नो दैट वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल बिहेवियर इन स्कूल टूडे we shall be continuing with the series on that and it is going to be part 5th of the series friends just to recall what we have done in our previous lectures in talking about organization behavior in school first of all we try to understand what organization behavior is why is it considered as a discipline and what makes it a discipline then we also talked about what scope do we have whenever we refer to organization behavior particularly from the perspective of school management friends continuing the same series in the scope of organization behavior in school we shall be discussing the next attribute or the next part of the scope of ob in school which is going to be leadership friends now let us try to differentiate leadership and managership what makes a manager leader and who is leader leader as the word connotes is not formal that means the leader can be leader of certain group leader can be leader of some political party so leadership is something which may not be formal but the person whosoever is in the leadership role he or she shall be having certain attributes which will make him different from the other administrator or manager and in fact the persona factors plays a very important role leadership is a general term but it's due to the virtue of qualities in him the person becomes a leader leader of a class leader of club leader of student group leader of social organization leader of association leader of some formal organization as well now to discuss the manager who is manager a manager is the one who manages things manages things yani managing the working of the organization systematizing it so manager performs all the five functions which we generally called about the principles of management planning organizing staffing directing and controlling and apart from that he or she would also be doing reporting and budgeting so all these functions are performed by manager manager can be a leader and whenever manager is a leader he or she provides the leadership to the organization in such a manner that the organization excels and this is the reason why we are talking about managers knowing managers which managers the managers of the school that means the school principals knowing the organization behavior understanding their role as leader of the school that means we are here concerned about transferring the school managers into the school leaders now as we discussed that leadership is something which is decided by the attribute of the people but now the question is all are all leaders managers yes to some extent all leaders are managers because they also manage similarly all managers are leaders now to answer this statement to put it uh, in a question form that would be much better that are all manager leaders no definitely no because a manager will become leader of the work or the group if the followers if you he or she has followers and when would the person have followers in the organization the followers would be his or her subordinates if they willingly carry out instruction accept his guidance by those virtue the same manager can be termed as a leader otherwise he or she would be termed as only manager because that is the designation designation can be school principal vice principal or a headmaster but the headmaster principal and vice principal will become leader only owing to the virtues the leadership virtues another question which is often asked is 
that can we create leaders or the leaders are born. This is something which has been discussed by experts throughout the ages. In fact, the experts now, the educational administrators now are of the vision, are of the uh, belief that the leadership can be generated. How leadership can be generated? To generate the leadership, we have to train the people, we have to make through, we have to systematically train the people as to influence the behavior and work of others towards accomplishment of specific goals in a given situation. So, this training if it is appropriately given then we can have leaders in place. Leadership is the ability of a manager to induce subordinates to work with confidence and zeal and in that situation all the subordinates are found to be happy also. This is defined as a capacity to influence a group towards realization of a goal. So, leaders are required to develop future visions. Now, let us have a look at what are the characteristics of leadership. One and the foremost important characteristic of the leadership or the leaders are that they are very good at interpersonal relations. They understand how to have interpersonal processes in place. They understand how the subordinates shall be guided towards attainment of goals. They also understand how to filter people as per the qualities and place them in a situation so that the people who are placed they deliver the best output because this is what a leader aims at to getting the best output and giving the best output in the organization. They have the maturity they also have the personality. Now, when we are talking about personality, this is also something which the people have talked about in detail and discussed and there are also two groups regarding the personality of leaders or do leaders need personality. We had leaders like Mahatma Gandhi who had very short height. We had Hitler also, he was also a leader whatsoever we may say, but the fact is that he led the people well. Towards destruction or towards creation that is a different question. So, now the question is that personality means height? No. What does personality means? Personality means the person should be believing in oneself. The person should be believing in one's principle one's vision to such an extent that the person with whom he interacts also feel same way. That is usually termed as personality because as far as leadership is concerned it is a group process. It is decided by interaction between one person and group of people because the leadership does not mean that one person guiding another person that is in fact just counseling. So, when the person is leading a group that means the person is able to provide the shape and behavior to the group towards the accomplishment of organizational goals that require that person to believe in those organizational goals to such an extent that the people cannot vary as far as his perception is concerned. Another important aspect which we need to understand is that leadership is situation bound. What does situation bound means? That means situation will decide the kind of a leadership the style the person has to take up. Leadership style as we all know can vary from autocratic to the democratic. It depends upon what is the situation and who are to be tackled that will make the leader decide that what kind of leadership is style that individual has to take. So, leadership is situation bound. Now, as we talked about qualities of a leader, we talked about physical appearance. As we said that the physical appearance does not mean that a person who has good height can be can become a leader only. No, that is not so. 
but yes the leader has an aura because leader believe in himself so that is why the leaders do have an aura which make people believe in them and their vision another important quality of leader is that the leaders have vision and foresight and that vision and foresight is realistic it is practical it is achievable only then the group will follow them and most important thing when we talk about vision and foresight usually that foresight and vision is developed based upon the fact that what others believe that means the others ideology the ideology of the group the vision of the group the thinking of the group the situation of the group the aspiration of the group is also taken into consideration before the leader decides the vision and foresight then the leaders have to be intelligent what does intelligence means are we here just referring to iq definitely not here we are referring to eq emotional quotient here we are referring to spiritual quotient because leaders are the people who drive people emotionally and they drive them in such a manner that the realistic targets are achieved another important quality of the leader is communicative skills what is communicative skills mean the person has a good physical appearance he has an aura he has a vision and foresight also the person also has intelligence but how would he or she would be able to convey that to his or her group or subordinate for that the person needs communicative skills communicative skills mean the person has to be very good as far as oratorship is concerned the person's ideas should be arranged in such a manner that the other person is able to understand it in the same manner 100% in which it has been devised to that means the ideas which are arranged by the person they should reach the person 100% in the same manner in which they are aimed at so the communicative skills forms a very important very important parameter as far as qualities of the leader is concerned another important quality is that the leader should be objective because if leader is subjective if the leader is biased then naturally the group will not follow him or her for long because honesty of purpose honesty in following the plan of action is very important for achieving the target and making the people believe in one's own cause so for this the person needs to be objective in thinking and objective in working also and totally fair working and unbiased working is accepted another important characteristic is knowledge of work what is knowledge of work means knowledge of work means the person knows the work well because only then the person would be respected by others if the leader does not have the comprehensive knowledge of the work the problems of the work the strength of the people if that is not known the strength of the system the problem of the system if that is not known to the leader then naturally the subordinates will not respect him because here when we are talking about leadership we are talking about leadership owing to the work in which the person is the work for which the person is responsible so knowledge of work is a very important aspect another important characteristic is that person should have the sense of responsibility what is sense of responsibility means the person should understand that one's own vision one's own achievement is linked with the other people who are following him so this sense of responsibility has to be there in the person who has taken up the charge of leadership or who consider oneself leader or the other people who are following him or her consider him or her leader another important characteristic is self confidence and will power self confidence because if the person doesn't have confidence in oneself then how would 
he or she be able to influence others and induce confidence in others will power will power to attain the goal if the person has will power to attain the goal only then the people the group will follow him or her because only then they will be con convinced by the fact that the person is taking them in a the right direction person understand in which direction he or she is moving and they can follow him confidently because they will not be failing because nobody nobody wants to fail so nobody would like to follow a person who himself or herself doesn't believe or doesn't have the will power to assert oneself in such a manner that he or she would be able to achieve the action another important characteristic and which as far as i'm concerned i think is most important and most prominent the person should be humanist because the leader is leading the people he or she is not a technocrat that the person is dealing with the technology the machines no the person is leading humans so humanist is one of a quality which is of foremost important whenever we talk about leadership another important characteristic is empathy what does empathy means the leader should be able to empathize with the people around him empathy means the person should be able to feel and understand the problems of the other person in such a manner that the person is is strengthened by that person so whenever we empathize with a person there is a difference between empathy and sympathy sympathy is usually given to the people to whom we think that we cannot help to whom we can just pity but empathy means that we understand and we treat and we feel that the person whosoever with whom we are empathize is at par is equivalent to us and we are the, at the same level as that person is from the humanistic level we might be having some designation that may make us uh, powerful but empathy makes us humanist we it makes us human and that human the feeling of human dealing with the other human that provides the strength to the individuals who are following them another important scope when we talk about organization behavior in the organization is the team building and the creation of groups running of groups management of groups now we have to understand that how would a person influence the team or create the team is it something for which the training is to be given definitely yes because otherwise if there is no training the person may learn but person will learn according to one's own pace of learning and one's own interest in that area so that may lead to waste of time for certain people certain people may do well because they have knack for it they uh, want to learn it so they may learn from the situation also but there would be quite many people who would take time to learn it so that will be loss of time if the time is lost that means the organization objectives achievement is also loss and if the achievement of objective is at loss that means the person is not able to deliver in the managerial position in which he or she is supposed to give so that is why when we talk about ob in school management we say it is very important aspect in fact it is a dynamic aspect which the person should be trained in as well as the person should also when we are say referring to person that means the principal vice principal or headmaster whosoever is heading the institution so that person needs to also update oneself through literature through training through uh, going through programs uh, on service programs in service programs or uh, just reading through the things now when we talk about creating effective teams and groups the first thing which a, a person needs to a manager needs to or the principal needs to do is establish one's own leadership with 
each team member that means that the each team member should be accepting the fact that the person is the leader to them or leader to him or her now the question is how to do it to do it one should inculcate not fear but power in the individual that means every individual should become powerful because the person is following the vision of one's own leader so most effective team leaders are the one who build their relationship of trust and loyalty rather than fear or the power of their position another important aspect for creating effective teams and group is that each employee's idea should be considered as valuable how that can be done that can be done by having a open forum on which we can be discussing certain ideas and there can be brainstorming going on in the open forum because no idea idea can be basic or it can be visionary it can be realistic or it can be uh, not so practical but no idea is stupid in fact as most of the scientists says that the science follows the literary visions whatever has been given by the psychiatrist later on was perceived by people in like plato and they had already introduced those those philosophy those ideas were already introduced may it be the uh, if we talk from the perspective of freud also we will understand that the freud introduce lot many ideas but those ideas were taken up by the literary figures much before the freud was even born rather ages before the freud was even born may it be the the ideas which he gave uh, as far as the sexual uh, understanding is concerned those are because freud was the one who uh, understood most of the psychology or the psychiatric thing was basically understood from the sexual uh, uh, understanding of the individual and how the person has been reared in one's own childhood so that was the basic idea so those ideas were already introduced by the literary figure we have to understand like sophocles had already talked about the idea which we are talking about which was given by freud when he talked about the uh, the uh, various issues like the the girl worshiping one's own father and uh, going for the man who would be similar to the father so those ideas which freud talked about later on ages later that was already given by sophocles when he talked about antigone when he wrote certain plays in about the greek mythology they were already introduced so no idea is stupid the idea may be of the future it might be visionary so that is why it may occur to the others as stupid so the leader has to understand that each idea has to be given respect another important thing is that there would be certain employees in one's own organization who wouldn't speak their ideas so well so employees unspoken feelings also need to be understood by the leaders for that team members should be guided that they should be open with such employees who are sensitive and who doesn't speak their mind because of the fact that they might be just because of being sensitive because of their feelings involved because of their moods involved so accordingly the environment of the organization has to be created in such manner that each individual speaks one's mind another important characteristic of the leader is that the leader act as harmonizing influence harmonizing influence means that the leader looks for chances to mediate and resolve minor disputes because in an organization there would be disputes where there are 10 15 20 people involved the chances of disputes increases so because there are chances of having disputes so who would harmonize the influence of course that would be leader because only then the leader will be able to move them towards the team's higher goal another important characteristic is that the one uh, the leader has to be very clear while communicative 
and he or she needs to give very clear directives. Directives have to be given in such a manner that the person understand that this action will result in this goal and in such time frame. So, there has to be clarity of directives. Another important aspect of the leader is that the leader encourages trust and cooperation amongst the employee in the one's team. This means that he or she understand that the trust between the team is most important. For that person needs to improve communication. For that the trust has to be increased or improved amongst the team member and respect has to be given in the relationship. So, team members have to be influenced in such a manner that they feel free to speak their mind, feel free to share information because generally in the organization it is seen that information is taken by the people as something which is power and the result is that the organization suffer and the person who is having information that person is able to operate individually and prove one's own interest and as well as uh, uh, prove one's own worth because of the power owing to the information. Another important characteristic is that person has to delegate problem solving tasks to the team. Friends, we shall be talking about other characteristics also about the person who is in the leadership role in the management of the organization and how that person has to work as to create effective team and groups. So, this score, this characteristics or this particular work profile of the manager that is creating effective teams and groups shall be discussed in our next part of the series of lecture on the this topic. So, friends on this note, I Dr. Doni Tomar is signing off with the promise to join you soon again talking about this particular characteristics and the further characteristics as the scope of organization behavior in management of school. Namaskar, Jai Hind, take care and take care of your health and be safe.